Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. It is, well it just says Monsters Inc, but it really isn't just Monsters Inc, it's Monsters Inc Scare Island. This is it buddy, the big time! If we get through this, you and I could be the best screen producing team Monstropolis has ever seen. I can't believe we were handpicked by Waternoose himself to train at the Monsters Incorporated private facility. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. And you building up the situation like this is not helping. Relax, Mikey. Remember what happened on our first day of college. Please, don't remind me. Yeah, okay. Please remind me. I don't want to deal with another mess like that. It took him a whole semester to rebuild the dorm. Didn't I say not to remind me? Okay, you're right. It's no big deal. It's only one of the most respected companies in all of Monstropolis. No problem. It's not like we're on the verge of a screen shortage or anything. We'll be fine. Alrighty. Well. Oh, more cutting. Well, I don't remember seeing a... Oh, no. We're not on the list. We are not on the list, Sully. How can this be? We filled out all the paperwork. Granted, it was extremely confusing, but come on. Oh, boy. What am I going to tell my mother? She'll be absolutely devastated. Oh. Here we go. Sullivan, James P. And Mike Wazowski. You two have been enlisted in this training course because of your potential to become a top scare producing team. While you are here, the two of you will work together to complete a total of 15 trials. That's right, 15 trials. If you can complete them all successfully, you will earn yourself a spot on the scare floor. Okay? Good. Please proceed through the elevator directly behind the help desk. Any questions, come see me. Welcome. Because it would let in a draft? It could let in a child. All right, anyway, let's play as Mike. So here we are with Monsters, Inc. PS2, but not that Monsters, Inc. game. Not that one. Monsters, Inc. Scare Island. Now, fun fact about this one. This is very strange. It appears that... So Monsters, Inc. Scream Team was a game, uh, basically the US version of Scare Island. But Scream Team only made it to the PS1. This is not Scream Team uh, because basically what happened was Scream Team only was on PS1. Scare Island was on PS2. Welcome to the Monster Orientation. Thank you. Here you will learn all you need. I am going to. I'm just going to say this. Most people that have watched this have probably seen this a million times right like basically let's be honest we are trying to skip to uh you know the next levels because the orientation is like the worst aspect of this game like everyone hates doing it now for the double jump and ledge grab i'll let you hear just a little bit and then i skip so this is the first time i'm ever actually uh properly covering this on my channel even though it is the fourth time I'm not even kidding, it is the fourth time I have covered Monsters, Inc. Scare Island. It's just that it was the original LP in like 2011, I think it was, the retrospective in 2014, and then the second retrospective in 2020, and then I believe it, it, it trailed onto 2021. So I simply love doing this game, but the thing is, is that I was always a little bit, I was not overly confident about the emulator that this was on. PCSX2 emulator, but nowadays it is so much better, um, and it is just, it works basically flawlessly. I don't know what I'm actually, what, what resolution I'm playing this at, I think it's like resolution 3. Let me actually just have a quick check. Uh, okay, so I'm on rendering, actually I'm on, wait, 3x and 80 yeah, okay, cool, so I'm on 1080p, okay. Just wanted to make sure that's good, yeah, so 3x, 3x is good, 2x is 720, um, yeah, but anyway, this is Monster Sync Scale now, and you know, we're not here to talk about emulation resolution, we're here to talk about the game. This is one of my favourite games, not because it's actually that good, but rather I have this weird teenage nostalgic, uh, uh, nostalgia about this game, right? Like, that's the whole thing, is that to me, it, it represents a time in my life. Um, where, you know, I was playing video games all the time. I was playing video games with my friends. I was doing a lot of speed running and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure you guys, um, you know, can, can relate to that. Where it's like, it's not like it's the best game. This is, by the way, the worst camera idea. This is absolutely horrendous. What the heck? That, that, is, that is 
What the hell are they thinking? That's horrific. That is... Why would they do that? Why would the camera move like that? Is that like a... Is that a game glitch? Or is it an emulator glitch? Primordial Ooze. And when you collect more than one Primordial Ooze, it is a Primordial Ooze Eye. Yeah, that's what I decided to call it all those years ago. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna constantly refer back to the old LP because why not? Um, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, it represents a time in my life when I was playing lots of games, having a lot of fun. Um, in front of you, you got some of these pain in the asses. And this is the best thing ever. I mean, the whole thing is, is that uh, you know you get to scare these um, robots because you know obviously we're trying to become um, we're trying to become uh, uh, you know we're trying to join the the, you know, the scream team I guess we're trying to get into the scare floor. Um, so this was Scare Island in you know in PAL regions and Scream Team, Scream Team in the US and uh, I don't know what's a better name I know that you know remember it's like uh, it reminds me of uh, speed freaks and speed punks in um, uh, in you know for the the Irish developed um, funk on Dublin developed uh, yeah, racing game you guys know I love speed freaks I absolutely love speed freaks it's like it's legit one of the best uh, you know, kart racers, racing games I've been playing. But, you know, the whole point is that, yeah, they, they called it, you know, two different names. It's not, I mean, we've got Ripto's Rage and, uh, um, you know, Gateway to Glimmer, right? So it's, it's, it's a very odd, it is it is a very odd thing when they do that. They think that, oh, yes, okay, that's the best sound ever. Um, this is my favorite sound. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I prefer. You leave a comment. You tell me what you prefer, huh? Or else leave a comment, or else if, you, if if I don't get a one million comments, you know, saying what they prefer, I'll be very very mad. But yeah, look, graphically, it's it's like this is the funny thing. I think I, I remember doing a. I believe I commentated on Nintendo 64's uh, LP of this game. Um, did you do? I'm pretty sure you did, right? I know, I'm def definitely remember commentating with him. And I remember thinking, okay, what is the? There we go. What is the better graphics, the PS2 version or the PS1 version? And I know that sounds crazy, but it's like, do one of them fit more? Like, like this, okay, playing it at this resolution, it's interesting. There's like similarities to the original game. I think I feel like there's like maybe some slight texture reuse, but not really. Um, I don't know if I can, I don't know if there's actually a widescreen patch for this. Maybe I'll look at that for part two. We'll see. Maybe I'll look at it between levels. I don't know. We'll have a look. Maybe, maybe, maybe the whole gimmick will be that you get, uh, you know, you get this in, in widescreen, you know, you get this not in widescreen and the rest you do get in widescreen. Um, but yeah, now there are some major glitches in this game. There are in the original game too, or I, I call the original game just the PS1 version, right? Where you can do like special jumps and stuff like that, especially with uh, Sully. Now with Mike here, by the way, the controls, it just feels awkward playing this, but I don't know if it's because I've got like probiotic mask shit on my hands, but, um, okay, there you go. Uh, what's that one? Oh. Who's the monster? Oh, wait a minute, who's the monster? I don't reckon you hear that in the PS1 version. New law confirmed. Great. You made it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, yeah, it, it definitely, it definitely, yeah, so I, I basically there are a bunch of glitches. I don't know, I've actually never attempted them though, but I might do them later on. Basically it involves like a, it basically involves a... Yeah, okay, I'm not even kidding, I've never, I'm, I'm not joking. That is the first time I've ever attempted that. I just, I watched the speed run for like five minutes and it looked like he did some kind of jump like that, which basically is very similar to the other glitchy jump that's in the PS1 version. So, I don't know if it's like mic exclusive. I could imagine just being mic exclusive because they just, they want to make our, our life a living hell and they want me to play as this small, annoying Wazowski, but I, mean, I like Mike Wazowski, but yeah, it would, it would be annoying. Oh, there you go, is that it? Yes, it is. Now, by the way, the music, iconic. Legitimate old timer. And there's absolutely nothing that will change our mind about this. I mean, shout out MP Carlson. Uh, who did an incredible uh, thing for this back in the original ISGP International Spyro Grand Prix. He did, or was it ISGP 2? I think it was ISGP 2 that he did this. He basically made a Spyro version of this. Check it out. 
I might put a link in the description or something like that because it is actually phenomenal. Like, it is so good. But wait, look at, look at, I don't know if this is just glitch, but why, look at, look at the, look at where the, the locations of the medals there. It's just flat out, like, off-centered. How oh, odd. It doesn't, it's, it almost, it almost seems skinnier, you know what I mean? Like, like the M, yeah, and everything like that, like it doesn't, yeah, it's like, it's, it's very odd, it's very odd. Alright, whoop. Oh. Can't find what you're looking for. Now, interesting that they, there's no, uh, other camera button, right? Like, so they don't, they don't add like a right, right, uh, analog stick extra function. This really is a PS1 game borderline just ported over and like marginally made better. But that's kind of where the fun is going to be, right? It's going to be exploring this game, you know, for kind of, for, not for the first time, but like for the first time with like my, you know, proper eyes on it. What do you say? I feel like that's a new one too. I'll look out, look out for any differences. Congratulations, we're all really impressed. Thank you. You've completed the monster orientation. One last thing. Scattered throughout Scare Island, you will find mailboxes. These contain... All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out Charlie Kelly. All right. Always sunny. All right, here we go. New cutscene. Wardeners. Unfortunately, no game footage. Excellent work, gentlemen. Now, in order to hone your skills so that you can become top scare producers, we're going to make things a bit more challenging. Oh, well, at least we made it this far. Hey! Your first destination is Urban Field. Not to worry now, just follow that path there, and you'll be fine. Remember, at Monsters Incorporated, we recognize that our strongest assets are you, our employees. <laughs> See that look they had at each other? Wow. Scare Island. That's the exact graphic from the PS1 game. Just looks like slightly higher resolution, basically. Alrighty. Oh, look at this. Come out of here. Can you talk? Talk to her again? Do you want to save now? I don't. Oh, this is cool. Alright, and get out of there. Oh, look at this. Look at this island. Wow, look, PS2 island. Oh, look, that's this. That looks like the same. Yeah, this is this is so strange. Like, I... I ugh. Look. Are you ready to challenge me? No. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. They got the licensed voices here, didn't they? Like, I mean, it seems like it. But yeah, this is the beautiful. It is, and truly is beautiful, isn't it? It is. Look at it. It's just truly phenomenal. Scare Island. This this should have been in the older movies, you know? They should have just, you know, taken this. All right. I'm just going to check if there's any kind of widescreen patch. All right, so we're going to select... I'm going to go to the city park first. That's what we're going to do. And you know what? We're going to play as Mike again. And then the next level, we're going to play as Sully. And yeah, we'll just, we'll see. We'll see what we can skip, see what we can't, and you know, we'll do like backtracking and stuff like that. Oh, that's actually very vibrant. That's a different, that looks like a different picture. Um, yeah, I was looking at it. It's like most people are doing their let's play. They're like stretching it to widescreen. I used to do that. And I like genuinely regret doing that because it, it is, it's just not, it's not legit. It is not the actual way. Oh, this looks nice. I like it. So yeah, this is the first level, this is the city park, and you know, the one thing you can say about this game, right, the one thing to say about it, the only thing to say about it, in fact, I love the soundtrack. Artificial minor movement, they got some great actors to, to you know, well, like, not actors, but they got some great voice actors, that is true, but they got some great, um, great, you know, composers to do their stuff. Um, yeah, I just think that it's, it's legitimately one of the best game, PS1 game soundtracks, because it just somehow fits the game perfectly like i know that sounds like a weirdly generic thing to say that was a mistake i'm clearly not playing this for speedrunning purposes but funnily enough i have done many a speedrun of the ps1 game back in the day i was always speedrunning this game all right oh, look i'm already floating how good 
people. Oh, oh is that is an inch, that's an awfully small loop, wasn't it? Is that is that is that, is that as small as the loops are? That's really small. Damn. Okay. That's it. That's it. It's a very, very, very tiny little bit. But yeah, if we can, I believe we should be able to complete this in one go because, as you may have seen there, you saw a uh, uh, a trampoline, right? A trampoline, in the words of uh, the Scots. And um, yeah, we don't need that trampoline. Put it that way. We we're gonna do. We're gonna try. The, well, we're gonna try the jump. I won't like waste your time. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. See if I can actually you know, do it. Uh, I feel like there's a chance I probably can't, but that's okay. This level, basically the first level here, is a very much a, you know, you need, obviously you need the different levels of primordial ooze to, you know, get it done. But the thing is, that it's a real, like, back and forth kind of explore the level, you know, just, yeah, like, they, they barely leave you enough. And because it's such a small space, see, look, I, I should have prioritized my time and then, you know, gone over here, got this one here. Let's actually see if we can, maybe I'll do the skip now. Alright, see, so look, come back. Actually, here's how you can tell that it's the right resolution. Look at the buttons there, the triangle button and the circle button, or the square button there. That's how you know. And if you ne if you didn't know, now you know. Ooh, ooh, that, that's a new one. That felt like a new one. By the way, this is like also the best quality I've ever heard the soundtrack in. It's actually, there's just that extra little bit of... Okay, okay, so the trick is here. Okay, don't, don't double jump there. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to... There we go. Got it. So the trick is... Oh, wait a minute. I just wasted my time here. Wait a minute. See if I can... This is bizarre. Okay, this is kind of cool. This is... Alright. Let's see if we can... Look at this, this is fascinating, because you can't get over to there. Alright, so we've got to unlock that later. So basically the trick is, is that you've got to time it with like, when he puts his arms up to like, flap his arms, basically. And that's how you, you are able to... Basically it's like repeating the animation, or something like that. That's how they describe, that's how Clockbox on YouTube describes it. So yeah, very, very cool there. Um, I will give that a go in a sec. So we'll be able to actually complete this level 100%. We won't have to do any backtracking here to City Park. Alright. Oh, look, we're so close. We're missing... Is it one more? No. Damn it. Okay, one here. Yeah. Get this guy. There we go. That'll be it. Ready? Two. There's two more. See? Yeah, you have to be real tight. You have to be, like... Uh, you know, you've got to get everything in order to do this. It's an interesting first level, really. Um, you know, see, when I was a kid, right? Monsters, Inc. for me... When I got Scare Island, I was like, okay, it's cool how it's like a concept of like, you know, this being before Monsters Inc. 1, but I always wanted like an actual video game, right? Like an actual, you know, of the movie kind of thing. It's just like, you know, a bunch of them. It's so weird how these games did this. Over the Hedge does it too, where like, it's like a new lore and everything. But the thing is, the funny thing about it is that then I ended up playing, you know, a few years later, or actually you know, more like over a decade later from when I first played this game, or almost a decade maybe, I, you know, finally played Monsters Inc. PS2. Shout out, Let's Plays on uh, my YouTube channel. And it was was like so disappointing in comparison and there is a guy that I know that is like working on like a remake of it actually or like a you know, kind of like a remake remodel remaster whatever you call it one eye uh, but it, I don't know how fine development he is and I think it's still fairly early anyway we we'll get a cutscene now or rather a movie scene but uh, we don't need unfortunately we can't watch it I'd love I'd love to just watch it wait wait okay put this on no because it's like my favorite bit Anyway, alrighty, load it up, load it up again, City Park, Shite Park, Shite Park, oh my god, that seems very naughty, how rude of me, alright, anyway, door is done, oh, they're putting back through here, alright, oh yes, and the best thing ever is that they reset the primordial ooze, that's like, the, honestly, the best part, it is just great, you can just get everything again, Alright, so let's go and do... I'm just trying to think, is there any... Is there an, Is there all, all of them up there? It's... Yeah. It's like one, two. One, two. One, two. It's too... It's too fast. Fuck. I'm, I'm not good enough at it. 
There you go. Okay, that was actually not, that was not too bad. But what is going on? Why am I? Why is this not opening? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I keep messing up. This is like again. This is like an anti speed run. This first part, I promise you, I'm going to be better in the next part. This is a legitimate anti speed run here because you have to go in here, press the button. Oh my goodness me! I am such a moron. Okay. Oh damn it! Another one. Okay. Seriously, the way I've gone about doing this level is actually shameful. Look at this, I'm not even, I'm, I'm like running back and forth. Here we go, let's hit that one. There we go. Hatch is open, the Richard Hatch is open. Shout out to Survivor Season 1. Thank you very much for showing me exactly where I've been twice, because I'm an idiot. All right, and anything else? Oh, it's gonna be, no, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close, it's probably about seven or eight. Two, three, four. Oh. <sighs> You're kidding. Alrighty, there we go. Got him. Got him. Look at this. We did it. I, it makes me never want to do it again, though. I'm not even kidding. It just makes me never want Like, it's just, it's too frustrating. But yeah, so with this, is, this is the first part of Let's Play, and we are already skipping. I remember in the first, you know, first couple of times, I think like it's the first retro, first game, first LP, and maybe the first retrospective, I wasn't doing these glitches. Um, maybe I discovered it by 2014. I feel like I hadn't, though. Um, but yeah, look, this is cool. This is like a, almost a, um, a truncated, a bug's life gameplay, you know, when you're climbing up the tree. That is like one of the most crazy things. You know what? Speaking of games, I wish I had a PS2 version. That would have been awesome. Oh, there's the handle. It's actually, this is like the, and this is weird too, because I'm fairly sure that's the only time Randall ever appears. It's, like, it's as if they had plans for Randall to be in more parts of the level. Um, and like, you know, like more like ways to like dis disrupt you. Oh no. i got to do it again now. You're kidding. Uh, this is a, a master class of failure. Um, there we go. Almost there. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, an extra life. Oh, another extra life. Yeah, it almost feels like that was the idea, and then they just like ran out of time as they went, and they're just like, nah, I can't even bother. Yeah. That, and that'd be fair. That'd be understandable. You know, they just, yeah, they can't even bother adding him in as like, uh, what's it called? Like, what do they call it? Like, object, uh, you know, like, you know, like, you know, in game kind of object disruption or whatever. Anyway. Uh, return to the top. All right, let's get the. Need to get the silver medal. So yeah, gold, silver, bronze medals, depending on the level. Oh, there you go. Good. Look at this. Uh, at least you know what? I probably didn't. Yeah, I probably I could have got enough through here, right? And then get that one. There we go. Oh, right there. How good. That's very strange though, because it just yeah. Then just warps back down there. Do I want to save now? I don't. What did that do? Oh, that drops the last one. Oh, let's uh, head down here. Don't know what that camera angle is for. That is... Right. What the absolute hell is going on? That's concerning. Well, I'm going to have to restart the whole thing now. I feel like that is, yeah. I feel like I'm going to have to restart the entire level now. That's awesome. All right. Of the exit, uh, quit scare island. Okay, the consolation is that at least I have my full uh, primordial ooze meter, scare meter, because otherwise I would be irate uh, having to like redo that. I do not know what happened there, by the way. That is, I've never seen that happen. That's genuinely bizarre. Um, now here's a question. I always, I mentioned this years ago, but it's like, you know, this is almost like a, their play on, you know, Ape Escape, right? Where you, you know, got to capture, you know, these, these drones, you know, these, these, um, whatever they're called, right? Would, do you think it'd be cool if they sort of evaded you more rather than just needing to double tap, you know, more, you know, or like multi-tap, you know, more buttons, you know, like, oh, you've got to press square like heaps of times, that's not even that bad. You know, do you think it'd be better if they actually just made it that they ran away or, you know, maybe there was like gadgets, more gadgets. I know they they sort of think they have gadgets by adding in things like the, um, you know, the, the trampolines and stuff. But yeah, see, look, there it goes, running a little bit. Yeah, what do you reckon? I don't know. I don't know what I prefer. I think, no, actually, I think I do know what I prefer. I would actually prefer more running away, because this, you know, the thing is about this is that once you get to these levels here with the five enemies, it's just kind of tea, or five, you know, um, like, 
moves. It just kind of is tedious. Anyway, there's the gold medal. Thank you. Great wrestler pose there. Very much a wrestling pose. All right, let's skip off to the next level, huh? The docks. Ooh, and this looks this looks very much different from the original game, the PS1 version. This genuinely does. This is this is good, actually. Ooh, look at the lighting here. Later in the day. Oh, very nice. You know, what? actually, there's one thing I will say about this game is that it is lit like bizarrely well. What did I say? Maybe. Ugh, it's, is that is that overly is that too much praise? I don't know. I don't know. Something about it just is like, yeah, they've got they've got it like nailed down. I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's just it's just kind of just good. The music though is just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's per it's perfect. It's it, I mean, it's not like a track I'd listen to all the time, but it's just it fits the vibe absolutely perfectly. There is quite literally zero wrong with the music in this game, especially in this level. Listen, this we got a bit of a, a bit of a jazz solo. How good? Listen to that. Oh, no. Oh, I was close. I wanted you to hear the music. There we go. Got him. That took uh, that took me way too long, actually. I'm just I'm just not good at it. By the way, is the sound the sound effects like slightly inconsistent in this game as well? That's one thing I noticed. It's like, listen, you can get them. When I knock them over, they're like not very loud at all. I mean, I put the volume slightly loud, slightly lower, but yeah, that's weird. Now, is that the the, thing, the frustrating thing, the incredibly frustrating thing about like how they do the backtracking is that it's so basic. That's a 100% new animation for PS2, by the way. Look at the water here. Yeah, is that what they do? Is they they make it that you it's only like one thing you don't need, and then that basically is why you have to you know come back and backtrack, right? Look at the water, by the way. This is going absolutely sicko mode here. The water is just the water is like this is this is this this is the seas of the end of the world here. We've got like this is tsunami territory here. I think this is just absolute undisputed fact that we're about to have some kind of global catastrophe, you know, in the in the monster world. Oh no, not another one. Not the CDA. There we go. You know what's funny? If you listen out to like how long the tracks are, you can basically determine how long it took me. So if it's like, you know, one minute, two minutes, ten minutes, you know, three hours, you know, you know, because, you know, the music, maybe, maybe, maybe you won't know, depending on the loop or something. All right, anyway. Got this little uh, lighthouse here. Don't know what it's actually doing. Guess we are in a dock, though. Oh, was it, did he have the dock on? Wow. And, you know, just got, you know, he, they're, they're looking. I don't know, he, she, they, you know, they're, they're just, uh, they're, they're looking here. They're like, all right, I need to keep an eye on this. What is this environment, by the way? What is this environment? Oh. Look at this game. This game, this game is just... It's such a... It's just such a weird game. Yeah, the incredible... Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I feel like I glitched my way there. Hop under the boat. This is... It's weird, because this is like a small, very small level. But it... Yeah, it just... It, the thing about it, though, is that, like... It's just like the general gameplay of the game is, it is what it is, but like, I just cannot hate it. Like, I know there are elements of it that are just completely lazy, right? Like, I'm, I am, I'm self-aware of it, right? But I just, I can't help but like it. Okay, there we go. Was he looking at another one as well? Like, he was doing something else? Booga, 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 booga. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, guys. This is the perfect time as well. Leave leave a comment, you know, some of your memories playing this game. And did you play the PS2 version? I feel like the answer for the most people, for most people, is going to be a resounding no, I didn't. And obviously, because, you know, a lot of the, the audience, you know, you guys being uh, you know, American, a lot of you guys, or Canadian, you know, you're probably not yet. The reality is you, you've probably never even seen this game before. I know that, like, wishing Tikal... Uh, Wishin Tikal, Tika Taikal, Wishin Tikal. Um, you know that she does all those like let's plays, walkthroughs, guides. You know, basically obliterated all my old uh, LPs basically by you know doing like long plays and just like ruin, <laughs> destroying the algorithm for me. But um, you know, she she uh, you know, she does a great job, honestly. Um, you know, covering you know all these games. I the top comment of the video was something like, oh yeah, I had no idea that um, you know they even you know they even did a PS2 version. 
So, yeah. I actually really like the textures of the floorboards here. Or docks, docks boards. Okay, so anyway, so we're gonna have to, oh, oh, oh. Ouch. Oh. Move the camera, get the camera. The camera is actually a definite weak point in this PS2 version, it feels like, even almost more than the PS1 version. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Now I know, I know I need to get all, I need to get a bunch here because otherwise I'm gonna miss. There's like a, there's like a, a red one coming up. Okay, so get that one, yeah, that would do it. Yes, there we go. We head inside here, oh, ouch. This is cool though. Ooh, look at the lighting in here, how, look at how, it's really, really colorful. That's what I notice about this game is that like the PS2 version had like it it it's like there are elements of it that are kind of washed out but it's it's really good. Oh wait, did that just warp us to? No. Okay, it does this? Thank you. Okay, wait, did it? Did it? What? It didn't. Okay, it just it just puts us in that position. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So I mean, yeah, it'd be great if there was like a bit more like you know nuance to the catching, you know, maybe, maybe even, you know, it'd be cool if it was like a, you know, it'd be cool if they like varied between that and like a, you know, Ocarina of Time-esque, uh, I, can't, I can't believe I can make that reference now having played it, you know, an Ocarina of Time-esque, you know, like, you know, play like a certain code sort of thing, that'd kind of be cool, right? There we go, move that over, and now we can jump to it. I do like this, you've got these environments that can change, you know, you jump on a thing and open this thing. As much as it was annoying in the last level, I think it, you know, it's cool. What is it, what is it actually, does it can tell us? Pressing this button will not only stop the engines, but it will also help you reach another nerve. Okay, that even, even just flat out tells us. Imagine if you just were like, yeah, yeah, I don't really care about that actually. And also it looks to turn off the, all the um, engine stuff here. Yeah, look at the colors here. Look at the colors. There's a lot to like, even though it's other elements of it are kind of completely mid. Anyway. Oh, look, we've got two up here. Two lads, two go two bros, chilling on a port in a ship, you know, five feet apart because, yeah. All right. Look at the color. I can't stop saying that. Just look at the color. There we go. Do that one, jump on the other side. How many lives are we gonna get, by the way? I'm gonna get that one to start before I leave. I can't believe we're at least, we're at least doing, this is great, like this, this, these parts are probably, I don't know how long it's gonna be because, you know, I guess we've got the, um, yeah, it's probably gonna be one, probably the longest part, it's the first part here. But, yeah, I wanted to yeah, make sure we get to the, get it all done. The next part, um, yeah, it's great that we actually did this, like, without, you know, without having to backtrack. I feel like the next part will probably, maybe not gonna be able to do it, I don't know, we'll see. Um, okay, that's the gold medal. That is it. That is, look at that. That is it. Ouch. I just wanted to kind of view this. Look at that. I want, I want to like aim the camera down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's get, actually, I really respect the texturing here too. Very good. Anyway, let's quit the scare island. Um, yeah, like this is probably gonna be the longest part because we're probably gonna split some other parts up Maybe some maybe we'll do like a big backtracking part or maybe we'll just go, you know, do the rest of the world in part two and, You know, this will be like an eight part LP. I don't know. We'll see or maybe six or seven or yeah, we'll see we'll, we will see Well, thank you very much for watching this LP. Thanks for giving it a chance. Give it a like go go subscribe if you haven't and in the next part I'm gonna be doing the city center the market and the urban Pursuit Urban Race, I believe it is. The uh, yeah, spoiler alert: you get to you get to race Randall, you get to beat Randall. All right, see you in the next part, everyone. Thanks for watching.